A dangerous gun, a fragile bouncy stick, and a fatal trampoline. Here are the 10 toys recalled for being so dangerous, part two. Number 10, Spark Spitfire Inline Skates. Inline skates are easily one of the coolest inventions in the world. You can ride around town without having to sell your arm to afford gas. But as cool as they are, these toys are also one of the most dangerous to exist. Let's go back to 2006 when the Spark and Spitfire inline skates were recalled by the company because the axles were made of crackers. These toys were made with plastic frame and four wheels held together by metal axles. They came in different colors and were looked to be a fun time, but that would not be the case. You could be having a go at it and the axles would break, leaving you with no balance or ways to stop. You can see where this is going. Unstoppable force meets immovable objects. The potential for injuries was so high that the producers had to recall over 31,000 pairs of these inline skates. Number 9. My First Disney Figurines Disney is one of the biggest companies in the world, with beloved characters that many of us grew up watching. Their theme parks are even more delightful and attract many visitors every year. However, the company hasn't been perfect the whole time, and we're not just talking about that live-action Mulan. In 2016, the company recalled the toy collection My First Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Buzz Lightyear, and Stitch figurines because the metal clasps in the toys were breaking off and might injure children if swallowed. Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, you should know that the first rule of Kids Club, if I can hold it, I'll try to eat it. Imagine the thousands of children who got these toys from the theme parks every day. There'd be so many suits, Disney might become a law firm. Number 8. Blue's Clues Toys Remember Blue's Clues? What a show. It's been many years since the droopy-cared pup showed up on our screens, but Blue's remains one of the most beloved characters ever. So it's not surprising that there are still toys made of the pup, even as recently as 2021. However, the Blue's Clues foot-to-floor ride-on toys wasn't off to a flying start when the plastic ears on the toy fell off. If you're wondering what the problem was, it's that kids would try to eat it and likely choke. Kids eat anything, toy makers should know better. And if that wasn't dangerous enough, about 12 parents reported the toy was badly made. It tipped over when the children tried to ride it, causing injuries like lacerations, bumps, bruises, and a chipped tooth. That's no way to treat kids, Blue. We know you miss Steve, we do too, but come on now. If you think these were dangerous, things are about to get weirder. Keep watching to see what's next. Number 7. Tumblekin's Toys the entire point of toy vehicles is that they're like the real thing, but some of them are a joke. Would you buy a car if its wheels could randomly fall off? Probably not. The Tumblekins are toy vehicles for kids between the ages of 1 and 5. There were different vehicles in the collection, such as fire trucks, police cars, and construction vehicles. Given that the toys are also made from wood, you'd think that they'd be durable, but that's far from it. In 2011, the makers had to recall the toys after the wheels started to come off. Not only could it injure children, but the ones who ate it might choke. At this point, I don't need to explain why kids eat random stuff again. They just do. The entire point of parenting is to stop your kids from unaliving themselves until they're old enough to do it themselves. Sounds swell. The company ended up recalling about 8,000 units in both Canada and the USA from 2010 to 2011. Number 6. Toy Story 3 Bowling Game Here's Disney with another banger, because why make one dangerous toy when you can make two? So it's 2010 and Toy Story 3 is out. Beautiful movie, every kid wants to watch it. So what does Disney do for those extra Benjamins? They decide to make a toy. Now you'd expect they just make more action figures, but no, they decide bowling is the real deal. So we get the Toy Story 3 bowling game. Now if you know anything about bowling, you know that the goal is to smash puns with a huge hard ball. The only problem with Disney's version is that the plastic coating on the pins would peel off. And as usual, kids decided to try the new snack. If the thought of kids choking on plastic doesn't terrify you enough, the paint coating was also made of high amounts of lead paint. Because you know, the one thing you need kids eating is something that could send them to the ER. The company had to recall more than 11,000 units from multiple stores. Number 5. Power Wheels Barbie Campers a toy camper is a beautiful idea. Kids can pretend to be out camping with friends and the whole thing. What makes this toy even more interesting is that it can move. Kids will have to step on the pedal and it moves like a real car. Fascinating, right? Well, no. This great part of the toy also happened to be its most dangerous bit yet. 
You see, even after kids took their foot off the pedal, the vehicle didn't slow down or stop. It kept running at full speed. How can a toy car have brake failure? It's both amusing and terrifying. One minute you're bopping to, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world, and the next you're screaming and swerving between lanes. No! There were 17 recorded reports, but this could have easily been more if the toys weren't recalled in 2018. Imagine having an automobile crash in a toy car. How do you even start to tell that story? Well, it was one of those days, you know. Wild stuff. It's a no from us. Number 4. Remote Controlled Car The name of this toy is a red flag on its own. Who names a child's plaything EXE Circuit Ruckus and Torment Remote Controlled Model Vehicles? It should be an offense for any name to be that long. Then again, Torment? Really? Was this toy aimed at annoying people? When this RC car wasn't having a weird name, it was overheating and melting. And it wasn't even the car, but the steering servo that you could hold to control it with. Horizon Hobby, the makers, had packaged the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 for kids and called it steering. One minute your kid is giggling and racing their toy car on the block, the next minute they've morphed into Heat Blast. RC car Omnitrix? Pick one Horizon Hobby, you can't have both. Can you imagine the sort of dangerous this toy was packing? Not only could it hurt the kids, but it could also start a fire. Wow, so you buy a toy and it burns your house down? Scary! Starting now, things get even more dangerous. Keep watching until the end. Number 3. Jungle Jumperoo Children's Toys One of the many things humans have tried to master over the years is flight. We've achieved this in many ways through airplanes, parachutes, skydiving, and others. But these things can be expensive or have age limits. So for kids, the best they can get is a trampoline. It might not be flying, but it's falling with style. What's not the love? The Jungle Jumperoo children's toy was made to look like a small trampoline for kids who could play with it. Like real trampolines aren't dangerous already. But what earns this toy a spot is that it injured several kids. There were three reports of the toy sending kids to the hospital. One child even had to get stitches and a head injury. How did this happen, you wonder? Well, the toy flipped over while in use. It had one job and it failed. This flipperoo problem happened in 2018 and the product was recalled. But it only took four years for them to be back on the news. Only this time it wasn't for flipping over, but for large lead content. Again, you had one job. It's almost like the toy maker doesn't even like kids. Which begs the question, why are you even in the business? Number 2. Super Bounce Pogo Sticks Remember Pogo Sticks? They're basically bouncy sticks. That's the entire toy and nothing else. You might imagine that it takes a lot of work to get such a simple toy wrong, but you'd be surprised. Like many pogo sticks, the classic sports super bounce pogo stick was made with a spring, you know, for the bounce. The only problem was that the metal pin used to hold this spring in place was made from crackers. Not really, but it might as well be, because this pin was breaking like that. Now, if you've ridden a pogo stick before, you know how it works. The stick bit goes between your legs and you bounce around. Imagine that the spring fell off and you landed on hard ground with a stick between your legs. That thought alone gives me the chills. It wouldn't be a pretty picture. Now imagine that for kids who could potentially land awkwardly or fall over in the process. That's not even a toy again. Lock it away in a vault or something. There was even a report of a child having to go to the hospital because of the toy. Unsurprisingly, the producers had to recall it from its distributors across the country. Number 1. Captain Cut This Pirate Toy Guns Aye, so you want to be a pirate? Well, before you find a ship, how about I interest you in some guns? What's a pirate without things that go boom? The first time the Captain Cutlass pirate toy guns made the news, it was because they contained lead to a frightening degree. Because you know, who best to give a dangerous substance than kids will try to eat their toys? If you know anything about lead, you know it can be bad for humans, especially kids, and that it can affect their ability to grow, learn, or behave. So in 2010, the toys were recalled. But eight years later, it was back in the news again, this time because the barrels were breaking. Not only was it breaking off little pieces that could be swallowed by kids, but it also left sharp edges that are just bad to be around kids. Keep in mind that this problem was already affecting the batches of the toy from 2016. Imagine how many injuries we don't know about. That's two years of one of the most dangerous toys from its lead days in 2006 in the hands of little kids. Enjoyed the video? Now watch this one.